What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we got some more Destiny 2 information. So once again we got some more stuff from IGN and this time we got some gameplay footage of a bunch of new things so pretty exciting overall. First of all we finally got to see more of the Sentinel Titan subclass, the new subclass coming in Destiny 2 for the Titan. Uh, we got to see more gameplay of it in this little control crucible match that we got to see a video of from IGN so that's pretty cool and then we also got to see some gameplay of the updated version of the void walker warlock subclass so pretty cool stuff some cool changes that we saw there as well and then we also got to see some of the changes for the updated version of control in destiny 2 so that's pretty cool as well probably gonna make a separate video on that one and then finally we got to see the new uh, Crucible map, Endless Veil vale on a Nessus, so pretty cool stuff, but let's get straight into it. So first of all, starting off with the Sentinel Titan subclass, pretty cool stuff. I'm interested to see this subclass more in-depth once we get to play the beta as well. But taking a look at the little super clip that we got to see of the Sentinel Titan, it looks pretty fun to use overall, that you can just dash at your enemies, you can toss your shield around as well. Looks pretty fun to play overall, can't wait to try it out in the beta. Um, but also, he looked really fast in terms of his movement, so that was pretty strong. It looked pretty hard to react to and hard to counter overall, unless you have your own super, like maybe a Titan Smash with Striker Titan or something. Overall, it looked pretty hard to defend against, but can't wait to try it out and take a look at it more in-depth once we finally get our hands on it in the Destiny 2 beta. But overall, it looked pretty fun to use. I can't wait to try out the Sentinel Titan. And then moving on to the Void Walker or Warlock. I was pretty excited to see more Warlock footage. Uh, just because I was a Warlock main in Destiny 1. So pretty excited to see anything new in terms of the Warlock or the Void Walker subclass. And it was pretty cool. We saw Blink return. So we finally got a confirmation on a Blink returning. And it looks like this might be the only subclass that has Blink in the game. And then uh, besides the fact that Blink is returning, we got to take a look at the uh, Nova Bomb for the first time as well. And it was pretty cool. There was like some explosions going off after you threw the Nova Bomb. Um, it looks like it's not going to be a roaming super unless you can alter the uh, super in some of the skill trees that are within the Voidwalker subclass. We don't really know uh, too much in depth at this point right now. But pretty exciting to see that the Nova Bomb creates multiple explosions. So you can kill multiple enemies in an area. So that looks pretty cool. Can't wait to take a look at the Voidwalker subclass more in depth as well. And then finally we got to take a look at the new Endless Veil vale map. Looks pretty good overall. Looks like a very balanced map. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Shores of Time just because it's a Venus looking map and it's a lot of green and everything. And just a more balanced version of that. So it looks pretty good overall from what we've seen so far. I'm gonna make another video about all the control crucible changes so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna be getting more information on Destiny 2 throughout the week leading up to the beta so we're about a week away from the Destiny 2 console beta coming next week starting on the 18th. Really exciting stuff. We're gonna have a lot of stuff coming in the next couple weeks so can't wait for everyone to get their hands on Destiny 2 for the first time starting next week. Thank you guys for watching. As always, a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!